Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Oh, this is not. We are Beth and Pam, and this is Design Tips and Giggles. That's right. That's right. We uh we're talking about Christmas versus winter versus holiday, I guess. I guess we're also I think talking about three holiday. Both. Yeah, yeah, I think we should talk about all three. Yeah, because I get asked a lot in my group. I, I have a TPT group um, and people ask me all the time or especially recently, like, should I focus on winter printables? Should I focus on Christmas printables? They don't ask about holiday printables, but it's all like the same thing though, you know, like holidays or Christmas or winter. And they say, what should I do, Beth? What sells? Well, what do you want to say, Pam? What do you think? Well, for me, mm-hmm. I do holiday. I and I think that's just how I grew up. I wasn't yeah. you know, so Christmas, you know, religious. It's all good. Um, so we always had to say holiday instead of Christmas, even in schools. It was weird. And so when I think of winter, I say holiday instead of winter. So I love that you are saying winter because I feel when we're um, creating and putting up there we need to use all those words because okay. everybody you know winter holiday uh christmas you know use all those words in our descriptions everything so mm-hmm. i'm glad that we're talking about all of it go for it because i feel like i feel like you can use both like you're saying um you can use both to like explain what they are i'm gonna admit that person <laughs> you need to fix the, the sound i don't know if i am else can right hear it. now i'm running i'm running to it right now it's like knocking on the door but um but anyway so like if you have let's say um you make like uh what's something that's like holiday not holiday Like penguins. Let's say you make a penguin product that's like counting clip cards because I love counting clip cards and they're all penguins. You could say that that's a winter product, but you could also say that that's Christmas because who doesn't love penguins at Christmas? Right. Or penguins in general. If you don't like penguins, like what's going on with your life? Do you want to, do you want to talk about it? (laughs) Just kidding. But, or holidays, that would work too, because I feel like it's really easy to add it to everything. Now, Santa, that would be a pretty uh, just Christmas. I don't think I would call that winter. I think I would call that just Christmas. Although Christmas is in winter. I'm interested in your thoughts. I'm interested in your thoughts about this. I would. Would you, you would call it winter too? If I, if I'm doing a description for it and I need to use, you know, keywords and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah i'm gonna put christmas up in there and i'm gonna put holiday and i'm gonna put winter yeah so like how to like describe it in all those ways but i don't know that i would put it in the title no i would like i would be really stuffy like i don't think you'd be like winter holiday christmas i'm not trying to stuff i'm just trying to explain your product and that's that's important too when you explain your product thoroughly then you're like super seo friendly right right because you're like, hey, these winter penguins are super cute and blah, blah, blah. Well, you probably wouldn't say that, but I mean, you might say that. But, but you would, I like you winter would... penguins better than holiday penguins or Christmas penguins. Right. Winter. But when you're describing them, you would be able to talk about all three of those things, I think. Yes. In the like, description, but not the title. Not the title, because that's that's too, that's too much. That's a lot. That's too much. Yeah. Yeah. So I was reading about or listening to some, some some information that I acquired somewhere I don't remember where uh <laughs> was talking about um titles I don't know if this is just TPT or if this is a Google thing um but they were saying that the middle of the title has less weight than the oh. beginning and the end I which bet. I thought was interesting so if you have like winter penguin clip cards uh you know fine motor skills activity for print or for preschoolers then like the end is is weighted and the beginning is weighted and then the middle is just like other things that you can add in 
that I agree really with that work because I think when I skim things and I'm a skimmer is I'll read the first part and maybe the end part. I don't. Yeah. Look at Lynn. I know. She's so cute. <laughs> I talk like that also. Right. <laughs> We're not talking about her at all. No. She's okay. clearly not listening to us right now. <laughs> or else she'd be like. <laughs> it's fine it's fine it's fine she's gonna maybe see the reply and be like these people i cannot okay. believe them <laughs> all right let's stop making fun of her stop. yeah yeah i don't mean it to make me we love we love Lynn. we just Lynn is love amazing her. look at she's so telling like, someone a is. lot of info yeah yeah i love it okay oh. <laughs> let me let sharita in okay. okay so did you want to talk about Oh, let me drop the. Oh I, yeah, we have a because I'm extra, extra, extra. I, I made wrote things down. Pam made you guys the printable. <laughs> what was that? Like two sentences on your little notebook? Yeah. Well, I have winter versus christmas and then i was talking about the things and i squeezed them all in really close okay you have small hand right now. Okay. ideas all right ideas for things like uh like letters gotcha. to parents and stuff that you can do for each of those things okay but well, i like what you did better it looks nicer <laughs> oh, so no. just different just um, different. Yeah. it's just different <laughs> all right all right i'll allow it what's wrong Oh, hello. Oh, mm, I've been going <laughs> weeks and weeks without issues. And now I just uh, froze. Okay. Just for a second. Mm. We're good. Now. Okay. Um, yeah. Just make so sure to make a lot of faces so that right. when you freeze, it'll be that. a good face for us to take. And... Oh my God. Oh my God. Cheryl's <laughs> not in here. She won't share the picture. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay, so all on right. my PDF, I did use all three, and I gave examples, mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, they all kind of combine, crossover, and everything, which is great, because I feel if you make one of one of those, like a theme of one of those, you can use it for each winter holiday and all that, so, yeah. especially with holiday cards. Oh, Yeah. I enjoy making holiday cards for some reason. I don't. You know what know. I love? It's like cardinals. <clears throat> they're my favorite winter bird because they're just so pretty. Cardinals. Do you, I'm sorry. Do you not have cardinals <laughs> in your part of the country? Do you not have cardinals? Really? Oh my gosh. Oh, no, I, I, How like, do you live your life? Out of everything. Like cardinals. Oh, I like oh my it. gosh. When I think of like a Christmas card, right? You know, really? or like a winter card. I think of like snow and like maybe like some evergreen greenery and cardinals. That's what I think of. Snow, trees, cardinals. Red, green, white. Well, I know what kind of Christmas card I'm going to send you. A cardinal. That's all I need. They're so cute. They're so a red cute. bird. Is that the red, the red bird? Mm-hmm. They're so pretty. Okay, so pretty. I'll give you that. They're pretty. Um, <laughs> They're pretty, I guess. And I like turkeys too, only when they're wearing hats. I guess any kind of bird with best, right? Actually, you know, let me let me make an addendum. I love oh all birds. <laughs> I'm a bird person. <laughs> I think she might have a bird fetish. What do you think? Unless they come in my house, then I'm like really upset about that. I don't like that at all. Oh, that's right. You had a bird come in your yeah. house. I remember yeah. that. That was scary. Yeah. It happened last week too. I, I don't know what it is about my house, but it's just like a hey, let's go to let's go to Beth's house. It's like, gosh, can we not? Oh, the cardinal with blue bird with red. <laughs> Oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot about the, <laughs> the mermaid bird. No, my, my hair's funny. my hair's up, so I can't flip my hair, but you can just imagine it. <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. Yeah. You should go on Chat GPT right now and make a cardinal. I'm on it. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
let's see. Hey guys, can you put in the chat what winter printable you will make or you want to make? <laughs> we, we can say we're going to make everything, but um, what would you want to make as a printable for winter, holiday, or Christmas? Cardinal Me personally would be cards. Bird. Holiday cards. Uh, for me, I enjoy uh, I enjoy bingo cards. I think they would do really well. Um, I was actually looking at the search on um, TPT. Of course. of course, you did. Um, they are on Thanksgiving right now, so there's not too much Christmas right now. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> my my birth showed up. Uh but um winter clothes reminder, you can write letters to parents like for the teacher and you can do like a, a winter clothes. You can write a letter for like a Christmas party or a winter party or any other type of party. And um what was the other one? I didn't write it down because I was like, I'm gonna remember this. And then obviously I did not. So I'm gonna show you this bird though. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Oops. Go away. Go away. Oh my All god. Right. Look at those so Look cute. at it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Okay. Look at its little flowers. These are not winter birds. These are that's what I was not... gonna say, but I wasn't I, I was trying to be nice. That's fine. So I wasn't I wasn't gonna say, but they're not winter birds. Yeah. And you make these birds in winter there we there go, we go. We'll figure it out all right i'm gonna stop showing so that we can not do what we did last week and just look at the birds all day which <laughs> i would not be opposed to just put a christmas tree behind him there you go <laughs> i went to look so different here no snow no traditional christmas trees i've been making a ton of activity sheets to try and keep these kids busy while parents make dinner i did a halloween scavenger hunt and it was a hit so you should make it for christmas yes 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 you are that's a good idea oh it had an error okay regenerate there we go all right but i love that i love that idea um like a scavenger hunt yeah you can do that with uh there's like a hair on my eyeball <laughs> <laughs> so i'm sorry um like uh like a write the room oh oh they got angry oh gosh who gets angry at christmas okay hold on hold on sorry i gotta show you how angry this bird got he's so mean <laughs> they did get a little angry but the, they are very cute this they one, are very this cute. one's dressed for for winter they're so cute. I love them. All right. I, you know, I really do like Dolly Three. I'm just that is. We do. Yeah. Yeah. I I am just so impressed with that. Um, I did learn though because Dolly Three is also on Bing. Oh. And like when you do Bing, the search, the whatever comes up, um, you can't use those from Bing. In any printables, it's it's in their uh, terms of service, but you can use the ones from ChatGPT. Interesting. It's yeah. the same thing, but they won't let you. Yeah, I. It's in. Yes, it is. So don't know. use Bing um, images if you're going to use them for any kind of thing for selling. Um, you can use them for you know marketing and stuff like that, but you can't use them to sell. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I, I noticed that in a um, a group I was in the other day. I was like, oh, that's very interesting. It's in, and she showed where it was in the um, being um, terms of service. So okay. I won't be making my images there. No. So. Luckily, we have Chatty. Right, right. So that's a good thing. Um. So, Beth, what kind of principles did you make last year for winter? or holiday Christmas. okay last year i made um i made some write the rooms okay which is like a it's like a scavenger hunt for the classroom basically um with some writing and i made dice games really 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 good they did really good 
Okay. Um, I can show you. Yeah. Do you think that's because parents, you know, like to do or teachers, not not necessarily parents, teachers, mm -hmm. um, but maybe parents on Etsy. That is what they want to buy just to keep kids a little bit more active during the holiday yeah. when people are when the kids are at home. Yes, ma'am. I also okay. think I also think that in the classroom, they're just like, it's the last week before Christmas. Let's just right. do a game or something that doesn't require me getting these children to sit down and actually do something because they're not going to, you okay. know, like the last day or two right. before Christmas, you know, or the the winter stand down, whatever they call it in the in the non-military world. <laughs> it's not stand down. It's a uh vacation right the last day before Which, christmas or oh. winter vacation yeah they call it stand down on yeah but yeah um okay so that's what i think about that we sold a lot of we you know like i'm a team it's just me uh i sold a lot of dice games and you know what i had a really good success with um this dice game that was like for m ms <laughs> like you roll you roll and then if you get like a six you put like an orange m m on one of these spots i'll show you i'll show you okay yeah i like to see it. what you are showing you're talking about where did it go it's gone never mind i'm just kidding i'll find it <laughs> like never mind it's gone i thought i had it in like a Oh, okay. yeah, Marilyn, she she was making money last month. I love it. Like uh, this, where's, oh, it's down here. Hold on, share screen and then screen two. This, She's like not this. fancy or anything with several screens. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, so like, this is old. <laughs> this is very old. I don't think this one is even up for sale anywhere but it's like this idea so what i do is i stop it send this to back this is very old back before they had sent it back but anyway uh so i just have like a, a black and white clip art right here and then i just put okay. these little circles on top and the circles they used to just be circles but now they're circles with white in the middle and you just do a different color based on, you know, like Skittles or whatever. This is for M&Ms. Okay. And the different colors. I'd probably make this thicker. Oops. Gosh, not that. These, um, I'd probably make these fonts thicker if I were to redo this today. And yeah, so you just put, it's like a little dice game and people love it. They loved, I had a Thanksgiving one and that one sells like hotcakes. I'll tell you. All right. Uh, especially right now uh, because oh, okay Thanksgiving so now activities that keep kids um active is a good um idea for winter holiday and Christmas yes. printables that's I'm gonna write that down <laughs> dice games yeah I didn't realize um that they would do so well and then like when the first year the first year that I had, I have this uh, roll like a gingerbread man or something, or maybe it's a snowman. I don't know. Roll a something. You roll the dice and then you get a piece of whatever it is. It might be a snowman, like his like boots or like his little gloves or whatever. And you roll the dice and then you add those pieces. That was my best seller the first year I had it. And then it was my best seller the next year. And it's probably still my best seller. I'll see you in December, but, um, I, it was really difficult for me to recreate that because I didn't have the right, like clip art for it, but now people are making like build a blank sets, like build a castle or build oh. a cornucopia or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's a lot easier now. So I could use my clip art to actually make more of those and uh maybe they would be bestsellers too at other times of the year that are not just december <laughs> right or maybe oh. it was maybe it was halloween maybe it was roll a monster i can't remember but one of them i was like oh how do that's, i how do i make more of this that's and a cute little roll a monster huh roll a monster yeah i'd have to look it up though i can't remember what it is roll us something <laughs> <laughs> 
was looking at some things that I created. I'm not saying I posted them, um, but I did create them last year. Um, coloring pages um, oh, yeah. for Thanksgiving. I noticed it, it, they were Thanksgiving ones. I, maybe I'll post them this year. Mm. Um, but there were coloring pages, but I had put the the color by number. That's what it was. Color by, oh no, color Ooh. by, what was it? Like, like I had her. the numbers and then the color, like a palette on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Those were really cute. I was like, mm. why did I not post these? <laughs> why didn't I do this to my, oh, for myself? I forgot oh. my brain, but it's all good. Oh, I forgot. You know, I made someone, um, I like made a guest post on someone's blog and it was like um, Thanksgiving jokes. And I wonder if I can take that actual post. It's like a freebie. I wonder if I could take that and put it on Etsy. But like it was on someone else's blog. So I don't want to like take it from them. But at the same time, it's like, I made those and I love them. Like I just found them again, looking for Thanksgiving. And I was like, cool. Why not go to chatty and ask for new questions or new jokes? New jokes and then make new new jokes and then make your own or make not your own, but make just pop them, you know. Yeah, new place. make new ones. That's a good idea. I'm, mm. I'm full of you. ideas. Just come to me. I'm full of ideas. Mm. I wonder if um winter like jokes is a thing. Winter lunchbox jokes. Let me look it up. I'm Googling. Oh yeah. People like that. You could do that. You could do winter lunchbox joke. That's a good idea. I'm going to write that down for things I'm going to make. Hold on. Hold on. And when you're talking, <laughs> because, you know, I'm just trying to get into this uh, mode here. Mm-hmm. Winter lunchbox uh, jokes or notes. What you're mm-hmm. talking about is like if parents want to get these and they're like this big or something like that. And they yeah. print them out and put them in the mm-hmm. lunch thing. You know, being that super parent that we all are. You put the Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh-huh. Like okay. this, I'll show you. I'll I like you. those. Screen two, share. See, it's like this. Okay. Now those would be this. super simple to create. Yeah, they're not hard. So these are just different pages, uh-huh. for different uh, different boxes. And then I put a white box in the middle. Right. And then I just put text here and then I have a different text or a different color here. And then little turkeys. Just oh put little turkeys everywhere. I want to make some lunch notes. Right? They're so cute. And so easy. You could do it. You could do it. I can. Oh, okay. I I broke it. There we go. Where did you go? Though. Yeah. So that's cute. I would do that. Okay. Okay. Here's lunch some notes, summer. guys. Lunch notes. Back to school. What are some of those too? Look at those. So cute. Why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. That's all. That's it. Oh Easy my God, that's kind of cute because <laughs> seven, eight, nine. <laughs> uh, it's yeah. the simple things for me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I love that. I love that. That's an idea. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or coloring want- pages. Oh, easy peasy. Coloring pages. Yeah, coloring pages are awesome. Let's and see. placemats. Remember we talked about placemats? Yeah, we did placemats oh, last week. We could do those. We did. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go to my PDF and see what. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm just in my Canva looking at all the things that I've never posted like a fool. Uh... Okay, so activity <laughs> sheets, crossword mm-hmm. puzzles, word searches, mm-hmm. um, educational work sheets yeah these all seem to be like you know geared towards you know kids and being able to mm-hmm. keep them occupied oh snow okay come on now all right all right can we talk snowflakes oh i love snowflakes especially snowflakes with cardinals go ahead <laughs> she, she puts her i can't even look at you woman <laughs> so i want to know you know and i probably could google this mm. and look on etsy but Remember, okay, so Sahar and I love to make snowflakes, but I'm, I usually suck at them 
because I will cut the thing too far or something like that. Mm -hmm. Is there snowflake designs? Like there if are. I wanted to buy snowflake designs, Absolutely. is there really snowflake Let's designs? Let's see. Snowflake template? Oh yeah, that's the thing. Snowflake <gasps> is template. Is it really? Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. Snowflake template. If you want to make snow oh yeah they even have like the snowflake that you like fold up and like can oh, you yeah. show it real quick can oh, you show yes, it i, I just want to see i mean some of them are not because like some of them are but like then they have these okay see that's what or, i'm like, talking this about one. yes that's like you yes. fold it how you and then... fold them mm -hmm. and then it's so um, made easy because you would yeah because mine come out nothing like that yeah okay maybe that was. one i that one looks a little simple that one i probably would be able to do oh i like these oh i struggled for years when i could have went on etsy you could have gone on etsy look at this giant christmas snowflake pop. look at that that's yeah, that... if you want to be super bougie or look at these <laughs> these are so big they're obnoxious but i like this this is easy fold and cut to template so there we go can you there you go we can make look snowflakes at look at the box oh look at the reindeer one uh, yeah mine would probably turn out to oh, be um like the nose would be the, too big and it yeah would take yeah. over the whole thing and then it's a, the a whole mouth thing. would be gone yeah no, no mouth well that's oh, a look snowman oh look at us just get to it okay sorry guys oh my gosh okay all right we need to go we need we need okay, to we need, we to, need go. to go we need to we go need all right all right Ooh, all right gosh they're so cute though all right close this Beth. close this close it okay so that was paper crafts make your own snowflakes <laughs> yes let's hear it. oh wall art you know i don't mm. know i i you know i love making wall art i really do i love but not many people will print the things out, will they? Mm -mm. You know. Mm -mm. What about recipe cards? What do you think about those? Ooh. You know, that's a good idea. Uh, one Christmas, my mom gave me, uh, she gave me a spring form pan and she gave me her family um, mm -hmm. cheesecake recipe. Okay. And she just gave me like a piece of paper. Like that would have been a really cute... Uh, like that was my Christmas present, and I was like, "Oh, this is the greatest!" Because it was my childhood, right, you know. I would, but like, could you imagine if it had a nice little recipe card? Like, that's a nice gift that you could give your children. Like, okay, so recipe heirloom card. recipe. That'd be cute. All right. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like that. Let's see yeah. what else. And you know, you have. could put with that. You could put with what? the recipe card. Like, you could make the recipe card, and then in the PDF you give them, be like how to give this as a gift you know and then like like add different um uh like add a ribbon to it and like connect it to all the ingredients that you need for this re for this recipe and have that be the gift you know, or like a KitchenAid mixer if you're really you have a lot of money oh, I like that yeah like yeah. it's so expensive I just saw one at the grocery store it was like 450 bucks I was like holy guacamole that's a lot of money <laughs> Huh. In my day, it was like 200 bucks. And I was like, that's too expensive. <laughs> you know? And now they're, yeah, they're much more expensive now. But go ahead. What were you going to say? I interrupted oh. you. I just love recipes. Oh, and cardinals. I, and cardinals. <laughs> Recipe. Cardinals. <laughs> uh, one, one thing, and I'm glad it's on this list because I, for, for my membership, the very last day uh, or last zoom that we're having for this month i'm actually going to be doing letters to santa templates because i really mm. i love doing letters to santa it was one thing that my daughter okay my daughter she's lo lovely 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 she believed and i love this um from a well she kept the faith of santa until she was almost 17 years old and I love that I love it too. And so we always did the letters to Santa and then, you know, she would write to him and then Santa would write to her. So I, I did for several write, and she has them in a, in a little folder and stuff. So I feel like that was one of those 
special things that I wanted to share. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm glad it's on my little uh, thing here too. Letters mm-hmm. to Santa, Timeless, because yeah. it's always fun to do that. Do you do you that get to like, yours? I do. I, know do. I, I know. do. Yeah. Last year or the year before we got this, uh, this like elf on a shelf thing and right. it was like the, um, the letter, but then you put it in the oven and it shrinks. It was like a shrinky dink. Oh. So now we have these little things that go on the Christmas tree that are their letters to Santa and what they wanted that oh year. Oh my it's God, that is so thing. awesome. Yeah. I have to find them again. I'm going to write that down. Oh, I like that. Yeah. So send a letter to Santa. I I think I'm going to create some more this year. I like that. Yeah. Oh, and another thing would be holiday photo frames. That's a good idea. Ooh, yeah. Photo frames. Ooh, and like, I- oh, you could do like crafts with that too. Like mm-hmm. um, you could have them do little like handprints. Oh, handprint art. That would be a good one too for winter or Christmas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or holidays, any holiday. Oh, you have like little like I think we had one with Joshua's little hands, and it was like um to make a uh, oh the antlers, the reindeer the antlers, and then yep. you had a little yep. a little nose that was on the bottom of the frame, it's a little red poof, and oh, it's so it's cute. falling apart. It's just one hand now, and a little picture of Joshua, and then like a little nose. <laughs> but I still love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, so cute. And mm-hmm. and see, these all create memories. Yeah. So I, I that's what I love about the holidays, mm-hmm. the memories. Mm-hmm. So we also have bingo cards. Oh, yeah. That, so bingo that's cards. always a winner. Yes. Winner, winner, winner. Chicken mm-hmm. dinner. So. Mm-hmm. You know, okay. last year I made a um, a kindness advent calendar. I know Eliza remembers because she was like, it could sell. Because I was like, I don't think this is going to sell. The entire time I was making it, I was like, this isn't going to sell. Like, it was after December 1st. So I was like, "There's no, nobody's going to buy this. It's an advent calendar. It's after December 1st. And she's like, I don't know about this myself. And then it did. And then she was like, ha 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 ha. <laughs> See? <laughs> and yeah, it was a kindness advent calendar. Huh. It was just a printable. A, just a printable calendar with different kind things that you can do every day and people want it oh i love that now i had someone reach out to me you just reminded me uh last week and was like i want to do 12 days of christmas something like that and um so she was like how do i make that kind of in canva and i was like well what are you going to be doing with it and she said that uh, it was just going to go on our website. Hmm. Well, I said, well, you can create the images in Canva, but it, you know, I don't, they would have to, it, you know, would you be clicking on something and stuff? like? And she, so she has it arranged. It's, it's going on her website. She's going to do that. But then I got to thinking my birthday, when are you, I think Lynn left. No, but she's there. She, she's here. Okay. Um, our birthday, should, Lynn. <laughs> my birthday, Lynn. Lynn, we should do 13 days of little giveaway things. And we can do it together if you want. Um, And just give them like little freebies for all through December 1st to the 13th. I think we should. Just little freebies. Just little tiny little things. That would be. Yeah. So that, you know, there's so, let's do it. Um, so there's so many ideas out there. I think my problem would be, how do you narrow it down? Like, how do you actually narrow it down and do it? Come on, Beth, give me advice. Ooh, okay. So, um, uh, ooh, all right. I got this. So what I did a few weeks ago, I don't know if you remember, I wrote down a bunch of things on little tiny pieces of paper. Yep. Yep. And uh, so I take them and I have them over here on my desk. And when I'm like, oh, what should I create? I just pick one. And then I either ignore it or actually do it. Look at you. You have it too. This was Lynn's idea, I think. It was Lynn's idea. And we still have them. So yes, I should get a cup for mine. That's a good idea. But instead, 
what is that? A 12 day giveaway freebie template for us to use. In, oh, so it's in Faith's Ooh. giveaway. All right. I got enough of those in my email right now. So I'll go in. I was going to say, yeah. Make sure you like look around for someone who gives away something for joining it. Yeah. Like if they're like, oh, if you use my, which <laughs> it got me thinking, like when I make um affiliate things, like when I am promoting an affiliate, I should get gifts and give those to people for using my affiliate link because when you think about it that's the only time I buy affiliate things is if like if I'm like oh that's a cool thing I want to buy I look through my inbox to see what the gifts are that everyone's giving and it's like oh do I want that <laughs> and if there's not a good enough gift that I'm like do I really need this you know like so give a gift if you can something that's like exclusive for that um thing like if I don't know I don't know what I would do probably like a like a template or something or like a like a I don't know I don't I can't think on the on the fly like this of things like but I'd probably give some type of template I keep thinking in my brain I'll write the room template because I'm like I need to make a write the room for winter and so it's in the front of my brain but I already have that in the membership so I probably wouldn't give something like that but I would give something like that <laughs> to people for using my affiliate link. And if you use my affiliate link or one of my courses, I could give them like the costume decor templates or something. Like That's give a them... good idea. I never thought about that. Yeah, a nice course. And then they would use your affiliate link. You'd make money and they feel like they're stealing from you. Like that's ideally what you want. You want them to feel like they're stealing from you every time they interact with you or like every time they, you know, like give you something or like, yeah, I want my people to feel like they're stealing. Have you signed up for the Pips <laughs> affiliate giveaway? Or no. no, I have not yet because I have not been in my email except yesterday when I was looking for who has a thing. And then I just logged out. And oh, I haven't what... really been on Facebook. Right. I, I noticed that. Yeah. Hey, Lynn, <laughs> what Sorry. time is the... Because I looked on a couple of Is it today? Because... No, it's tomorrow, but okay. I have a special guest thing um, at nine and I am I know no one will show up if, if it's going at nine. <laughs> right. Uh, so I'll have yeah. to see what, to, because I checked a couple emails and it didn't say the date, but any who will figure it out. Yeah. We'll figure it out. I'll have to do that. All right. So what... Oh, so, so I asked Beth, how do I get over? Okay, 7 a.m. lot. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, how do I get? Past... Then I went on a, on a side tangent. I know. Um... I was like, okay, I need to follow. Hmm. And then I need to come back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're really so... good at reining me back in. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh... Um. So for me, you know, with all these ideas, and it's probably not helping that we're giving everyone all these ideas <laughs> too, because when we, I tend, when I have a lot of ideas, I kind of like, I don't know, I don't shut down, but I'll be like, oh my God, I just can't, I can't. Mm -hmm. So um, putting, like maybe going through this, yes, yes. Um, going through this list, picking and choosing the ones that I want to do, write it down put it in my little cup and then grab it. So I think that's what I will do. Cause I'm, I know I'm not going to be able to do all of these cause some of them are a uh, little time consuming, I think, mm -hmm. but I like the ideas of gift tags and greeting cards and thank you notes, stuff like that. But then you really have to think, do people really buy those things? So that's when the research go comes in. So, um, for me, what I do um, when I have a booty ton of things that I want to create, um, I just take the first thing that comes into my brain and I make that and I don't question it and I don't, okay. I don't research it. I don't like let myself like, like anything. That's a good point. Because if I think about it, then I, I, I'll talk myself out of anything. I'll talk myself out of anything. So like, if I grab your, your nice thing that you made, I'll scroll through and I'll, if the first thing that like screams at me, 
you know, like paper crafts, like cut out snowflakes. I can make that right now. Right. I can make that. I can make that right now. So I'd go and I'd make it and I would list it. And then I'd be like, good. I was successful. And then I can come back and do more if I want to. But like, if you just focus on and do it, this one screamed at me first, okay. go do it. So stop looking once something is like, Hey, why don't you do this? Like, Oh, that's a good idea. Just shut it down, create it. And then do after you're done creating it and you like put it up, then you do the research about how, like, if you want to change the title or anything, that's what I do. Like, okay. Do it first question later. Okay. And that's I why like I that. have a bajillion products because I do first. <laughs> Yeah, I research first. That's why I don't yes. have a bajillion products. Well, that's there the we reason. Because you, okay. you can talk yourself out of anything. And if you just don't give yourself the opportunity to talk yourself out of it, then you won't talk yourself out of it. And you'll do it. Love it. You know mm-hmm. what? Mm-hmm. Coach Beth. Coach yeah. Beth. <laughs> uh, I like that. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Just do it. Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. Yeah, don't overthink it. Just don't just, let yourself talk yourself out of it. Don't do any research. Like this? You good. You good. I love yeah. doing that. I my brain works with um what inspires it. Like uh-huh. if I'm just like I'm going to make a spider craft today. You know, if I say that to myself and I wake up and I'm like I'm going to make a spider craft and I get to my computer and my brain's like no you're not. I, I'm not going to make a spider craft that day because my brain says no. So I just go here and I'm like, whatever inspires me. And it can even be a list of things that you want to create. It could be your, your cup. You just pick one out and then you look at it. And if your brain is like, I don't want to make any shape clip cards today. I want to make Santa clip cards. Then you're like, okay, brain. And you make Santa clip cards for me. That's, that's what works for me. Okay. But other people. So now, so now I have to make new cards and put in my. <laughs> my yeah. cup because yeah. i think those were all october ones now mm-hmm. i need okay all yeah, right you need new ones now i need new ones yeah so does everyone else yeah well, she just dropped some very good uh gem on us just do it just get over it just to do it pick what what resonates with you what mm-hmm. gets your attention mm-hmm. go and do it and do it and then think about everything else I need to do what now? <laughs> Make new uh, product ideas that you want to do for your cup. If you have a cup, if you don't have a cup, I don't have a cup. I just have a collection of tiny cards. <laughs> well, I <laughs> have to do a do. cup because it will get lost. Oh, I, I like to I, throw things away. I make messes. Uh, so, oh yeah, I probably don't want to make um, this fire safety thing in December. <laughs> all right do you guys have any questions or anything that you want us to look at in regards to a holiday winter christmas do you guys have any comments questions or anything oh my gosh i love the idea of photo booth props that's adorable right that's, that's a fun idea advent calendars Mm -hmm. oh okay guys Mm -hmm. this might be a little off not it's not off topic but my daughter we still do something special I do uh an advent calendar for her and last year or so the year before so I've done candy which when she was a little um I've done last year I did crystals so Ooh. yeah so I I gave her a little see we have this little cute little wooden advent calendar that has little things mm. that I can put in there um so I'm wondering what I can do for her this year if you guys have any great ideas let me know uh if she's 19 but she is very young at heart like she really enjoys things like just simple things so just you guys ever come across something that you think just let me know Mm. oh yeah crafts stickers my kids would love stickers oh stickers stickers. is a good idea too Mm -hmm. oh stickers Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. We've been, so we've been really all about crafts lately. Like every day. I'm like, what do you want to do today, Jackson? And he's like, I want to do a craft. It's like, ah, there's only so many crafts you can do, but we will never run out because there are a million crafts. Oh, a charm bracelet. You know, that's a thing on Amazon. Yeah, on Amazon. I've actually done that a ah. couple years ago, the charm <laughs> bracelet thing. But Robin, Legos, she still loves Legos. Oh. Oh, you know what else I saw on Amazon was a uh, puzzle. It was it was an advent calendar puzzle and it was like 30 pieces every day or something like that. Nail polish. Ooh, I love that idea. And like you could do like little gems to put on your nails and stuff. Like little Yeah, she has kit. fancy nails. Fancy earrings. Oh, earrings. oh yeah. Okay. Ooh. See, I knew I knew who to ask. <laughs> We have two adult daughters now. My daughter thinks she's an adult, but she's 10. <laughs> she's been uh she's been parenting a lot. Um, everyone. She parents everyone. It's like, girl, if you tell me what to do one more time. <laughs> if you tell me how to live my life one more time, small child. My daughter's 50. Well, that's a little bit different than 10. Yeah. Well, scars, you know, mm. when you thought, when, okay, Eliza, so when you said scarves, yeah, we don't do the scarves, but she does scarves for her hair every night. Like she puts, oh. so that is, and I did give those last year for Christmas, right? So, and she probably has maybe one left because we don't know where the other ones go after yeah. she wears, I don't know. I don't know. I've looked. She lost them all. Um, <laughs> so, but yeah, okay, that's great. Thank you guys. I appreciate the ideas because, um, yeah, it's hard sometimes to get all, you know, that. But oh, back to printables. I love that. <laughs> oh, we buy, uh, I buy a lot of hair ties. Like uh, I have them in my pockets because I lose them all the time, like hair ties. And, um, I lose them all the time. And now my daughter takes them. So like they disappear a lot quicker now. And Brandon, like he'll find them. He He's very good at finding them. And then he's like, why did you buy more? Here's like 5,000 right here. And I'm like, where did you find that? Because I looked the entire house. I couldn't find any. So I bought more. And so, yeah, every time I just need to have my husband look for it. Because he's like, pull some out of couches and pull some from behind beds. It's like, how am I supposed to know that it falls out? Like, whatever, whatever, whatever. And usually they're now they're just in her room. So it's fine. 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 Okay. It's just, <laughs> and every time I get something new, yeah, exactly. It's things like that, like, like favorite snacks and hair accessories and nail polish. My kid, my daughter takes everything from me. Like I got new socks the other day and I was like, oh yes, look at these socks. It's just like, I'll be taking those later. And I was like, girl, <laughs> you stop stealing my socks, girl. Um, so. It doesn't stop. Let's just say it doesn't <gasps> stop. Um, I yeah. liked it better when she was younger and she couldn't steal my socks because they wouldn't fit her tiny little feet. But now she, maybe she'll outgrow me. That's the dream. <laughs> I think she might. I hope so. She's a little tall. She's, she's like she's like right here right yeah. and 10 and 10 so yeah <laughs> I don't know if mine will have I mean we're mine is about this much shorter than me oh um I fluff my hair up when I'm around her so I can be a little bit taller but <laughs> we are we're we are five feet she says yeah, four eleven, but I'm just gonna oh. round up to five mm -mm. I'm uh, five feet and three quarters of an inch so you're taller than I am? <gasps> By three quarters of an inch. Yeah. Yeah. But I can't fluff my hair. So you actually could be taller. Yeah. I, I can't, can't fluff my hair. I, I can do. fluff. Oh, see, look. See, it stayed in spot. <laughs> it stayed. It's there. I'm this much taller now. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So I think moving forward, you guys, we need to. Um, sorry, my son's telling me. We need to think about what we're going to be making for winter, holiday, and Christmas. Mm -hmm. And just remember that whatever you make this year, 
even if you make it like December 24th, like it is for yourself next year. Like you are giving a gift to yourself, everything you make. Okay. So that's how I always think about it. I'm like, I'm, I'm just going to make everything I can this year and anything I need to make that I couldn't make this year, or I forgot to put up this year. Like we'll just fill the holes next year. Like, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Just do the well, best you can. Just what I do. Yeah. What I'm going to do is go look at everything that I made last year and never posted and yeah. put it up. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. But also. I, I bet you all have something oh, that yeah. you created. And, and it's not going to take you that long to find it. You just, I bet. You just look. I bet. <laughs> look. And then I you'll bet. be like, oh, shoot. These. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. One thing last week I found. Wow. One. Okay. So I just this morning looking at my products, I found like six that I forgot to put up last year. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. Like that's where I found the color. The, um, what is it? What, why can I never remember that? The color Orange. by number. Oh, the color, the color by, by number. number. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, why didn't I post this? These are yeah. cute. See, so, that's, that's a you thing. You do that. You were like, oh, I can't post this. It's not perfect. You do that. I know. I know you do that. And you shouldn't do that because people buy things that aren't perfect. Did you know that? Yeah. Did you know that like a B plus for you is like a hundred percent for other people? So like if it's a B plus product, if you're like, oh, this is like an 85% of my like amazingness someone will look at that and be like, that is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. I love it. 85%. That's all you need. Is Get Coach Beth coming out again? And Post it. your B products. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Why are you hitting things? <laughs> I hate it. Oh. I'm going to do it. Okay. Oh. What? She said that she can't fix oh some things oh she's bad yeah okay See? but but would it be in your canvas still oh she probably made it on powerpoint oh, pe- oh. if it's okay, last year that's right never mind that's the only bad thing about power uh, that's not the only bad thing that's a bad thing about powerpoint is okay. that you save it on your disc so if your disc breaks then you don't have it anymore but okay with canva it's on the internet so if you don't have internet then you can't use it so either way there are some bads yeah but in canva i can put a search and say you know christmas i might have named it christmas and it's in my projects because i have what it what did i i made 4600 designs in canva so far wow i got that yet how do you see how many designs you have? Well, no, I didn't. Um, Canvas sent me that little oh, certificate. Oh, sent you a thing that was like, yeah. congratulations. Yeah. So oh, man. I wonder. I wonder how many I have. I bet it's a lot. But um, I used to my, use it all the time. Yeah. So. All right, guys. Um, any other questions? Do we have questions? I want, I, I actually want to know what you guys are going to make this month. So put in Ooh. the chat what you're going to make. I'm going to make letters to Santa. Oh, that's on my thing right here. Letter to Santa. It's right here. You can't yeah, see it. Yeah, it's going to be on YouTube. Um, and a Christmas party letter or a winter clothes reminder. Like, hey, winter's coming. You should dress your children for winter because it's winter. That's something that you can do. Let me look at TPP. Let's see that winter animals winter holidays around the world you could talk about that oh that's a good idea writing prompts word searches escape rooms oh name tags oh oh gosh i can't be here dramatic pl- oh where you. are you at where TPT. where are you like i'm on oh. the search bar on tpt my bff okay so some of the dramatic plays are like a hot chocolate bar or like a, a Christmas tree lot, <laughs> or tree farm. That's adorable. Or Santa's workshop, or a ski lodge. Oh, that's on my list of things to eventually do. Where is it? It's on this one. So things if you're like- To eventually do dramatic play in the Facebook group. Sorry, go ahead. No, or the membership. I'm, I'm, 
I love, I love the enthusiasm because I want to, I'm like, so you're just in the teacher pay teacher search. Oh yeah. Okay. So we all need to go over there too and go yeah. when that's all my best friend. like you do. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. I thought yeah. I was your best friend, but okay. Whatever. Well, I mean, <laughs> whatever. That was so funny. Every, when people want to know where you're at, who do they come to? <laughs> really? Yeah. Me. Where I what? am? Yeah. Right? Right? Uh-huh. Um, Pam, are, where's are Beth? Are you my nanny? Where, where's Beth? Where's Beth? I don't oh, know. Oh, you know what? 90% of the time, I'm sleeping. Or. No, you were at a doctor game. I, oh, I that's didn't. true. That's true. I was going to mention it on the Facebook group, but then I was like, I don't want it to be an excuse. But also, like, I want to watch my kid play. Because I've been, like, absent for all of his games, really. You know, like, because I've been listening to things. And he scored. He scored a goal on his last game. So, you know what? It's good. It's all worth and I was it. There, and I was like, that's my boy. <laughs> That's my boy. That's my boy. I'm very embarrassing. And my kids love it. So. Oh, you know, when I saw you in the dinosaur thing, I'm like, oh, this girl loves to do this for her kids. I love it. I love. I was a dinosaur for Halloween and we walked around the neighborhood and I was like, I can't wear this all night. (laughs) I can't do it because I couldn't see. So I had to like pull my face down. So I was like, (laughs) And I was like, I can't do this all night. So we, I went home and changed. And then I was the spider. But so cute. I wanted to be a dinosaur. I could not do it. Okay, so I think next week we should all show each other what we made. Do you think we can do that? Uh, I mean, we always say it, but we never, you know, try. But I think we should. I love this, Pam. This is such a great idea. I'm so excited. I'm just kidding. I, I do love things. I'm actually, uh, my, my workload for the week is, um, the excuses right here. Come on, go ahead. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, my workload for the week is to move over all of my, um, classroom decor, which I've moved over all the classroom decor, but now I, I like gave myself homework. I was like, I need to make these things for the membership because it's not complete without these things. So I'll just do something of that for winter like a like winter counting something or number line or name tag i'll do something and i'll post it okay. it'll be fine marilyn says she wants to see where we post our creations okay you got it we'll do it mm-hmm. i'm gonna do it you know lynn is always the one who gives us homework and then marilyn is always the one that's like right. where's the homework that you did right <laughs> she's the accountability and Lynn is the assigner. <laughs> I love your confidence in us. <laughs> We're the slackers. We are the slackers. That's us. We are. We're the excuse providers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We just do everything else. We, you know, we have memberships. Yeah. It's just. We have it. things to d- do. Like, um, I went bird watching at Target the other day. <laughs> Can I just tell you about this bird that I got? Can I tell you? Since who's going to stop me? Um, I found a bird with a bird and then another bird. And it was a snowman. Oh, I know. I know. I saw that. Yeah. And I we, bought them. Yeah. I'm sure. I bought two did. of them. I bought two of them on accident. I didn't mean to, but then I was like, this is a happy accident. Darn. <laughs> So now I have one that's going to be up here. I've been not putting the winter birds up upstairs yet because I have my Thanksgiving bird, but I'm waiting very patiently for Thanksgiving to end so that I can (laughs) my Christmas birds. Yeah. Okay. Okay, go ahead. I do have to say something. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop the recording. Okay. See you next week with your winter um, principal. Yes. I I see everyone in here. Yeah. All right. (laughs) Okay. I know who you are. <laughs> All right. I know. Okay. Stop recording.